Hello, and welcome back to the Book Marketing Tips and Author Success Podcast, mini-sode. This is Penny Sansevieri and Amy Cornell, and today we're going to talk about um, Google Alerts. And Amy, you we you know we've had Google Alerts for the company and then for my author name for a long time. Yeah, it's very, those are always surprisingly exciting. Like you forget about them for a while, but then something pops up and you go, well, that's, I feel famous. <laughs> like <laughs> all of a sudden when you catch something and then like this, you know, for social media and things like that, it's really helpful. But yeah, it, it's one of those things that I think uh, it's easy to forget about. But then when something really exciting kind of pops up, you get this like rush of like, oh my gosh, like I love hearing about this, you know, and getting these alerts. Well, and part of the reason why, and Google alerts are good. There's also another company called I think mention.com, which I've used before. Google alerts is free. Mention is it's paid. I forget how much it is a year. But the reason that I like to do the Google alerts is because not every, not every media placement gets notified. And by that, I mean, not every media person will notify you that your P, that a piece has run on you. And it has happened before that we had authors who have actually had things in major magazines that the media person just forgot to notify us of or the author of. And it's not that they're sloppy at all. It's just that they're busy or, you know, they have to move on to the next project or whatever. So Google Alerts, get them on your name. I, I recommend getting them on your name. Um, I mean, you can do it on your book title too, but I mean, I would probably just stick with your author name. I mean, what do you think, Amy? Yeah, I think the book title gets a little more obscure. Um, you know, I think the name is something that's definitely always going to be a part of it. And I think you'll get more play from that too, which also yeah. for what it's worth, like you, you get more responses if you use your name as well. Because yeah, I mean, to your point about the media too, Penny, I mean, a lot of these people, because we encourage our authors, like if you send a book to somebody, follow them on their social, you know, yeah. you better be paying attention to what's going on on their website if they own one, or if they, if that's where they publish their pieces, you know, things like that. So I think it's also fair to say that these individuals expect you to be paying attention too. you know? Yeah. And that might be why they're not going, Hey, by the way, next week, your piece goes live. I mean, yes, some of them do. And it's, it's really nice of them to do that and give you a heads up. But, you know, at the same time, like you said, they have schedules to stick to and, and they, they assume you're paying attention as well. And you should be, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely true. So I think that that's just something. And like I said, Google is free. Google is a little bit more. So I think the difference between like Google and a, and a paid uh, firm like mention.com Google only takes the Google takes the broader um, placements. Whereas if you're doing a lot of pushes, if you're doing a lot of pitching for yourself, mention might be better be, just because they cover absolutely everything. So um, Google doesn't always cover things like blog posts or if somebody has commented about your book on a blog, which happens, right? Yep mention will a paid service. And I just use mention as an example. There's a couple of them, but a paid service will actually notify you of that. So, I mean, if you've got a lot of stuff going on, it's a great way to stay engaged, um, and actively in, in, you know, actively engaged in your own success, which is always something that we recommend. Right. And it's very motivating and good for the ego. And we all love a little bit of that, right? <laughs> it's very, very good. For, yeah. It is very good for the ego when you see stuff appear, because like I said, a lot of times authors, get into these situations where they're thinking that nothing is running and yet stuff is running. They're just not being notified. So it's a good way to kind of add that. And when you get those links, yep. if they're media placements, add those to your website. So, you know, as you start yeah. to build your repertoire. Very good point. Do something with it. Enjoy it. Bask in your, in your 15 minutes of fame there and then do something with it as well. Share it on social, get it on your media page, on your website, all that good stuff. And, you know, we encourage our clients to do this because there are long to be read lists, you know, so you, somebody may request a book and you feel like, well, it's been over a month. It's like, that's not entirely unusual. So setting up these mentions are a great way to make sure that these longer lead time, you know, you see your efforts come to fruition or, mm -hmm. you know, the efforts of your marketing team as well. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. This is Penny Sansbury and Amy Cornell, and this is the Book Marketing Tips and Author Success Mini-Sode podcast, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.